What's up everyone? Welcome to part one of a series where we look at YOLO V2, aka YOLO 9000. So YOLO 9000 is a fairly new and high speed object detection algorithm. So what you see here is some video footage I've recorded from gameplay and process using YOLO V2. And what it does is draw a bounding box around the object with a label. So it's fairly fast. You can see the box always stays around the object. And yeah, so that's what it's great for, high speed image detection. So in this series, I'm going to show you how to process video of your own so you can get these cool bounding boxes and labels. And then we're also going to look at how you can add your own images in a Python file and process them and add the boxes and kind of get an idea of how this thing works for so you can use it in a project of your own. So let's get started. Let's begin by talking about what YOLO is. So YOLO stands for you only look once. So it's a high speed image processing algorithm and it's been around for a while, but the most recent iteration called YOLO V2 or YOLO 9000 is an algorithm that's way faster. So this thing's fast enough to process video in time. So video that's 30 to 60 frames per second, we can do image detection right in line. So it's also called YOLO 9000 because it's been trained to detect over 9000 different objects. So we're not going to talk much about all the details because there's lots of good references online. So I've provided links in my GitHub slide. So the first one is the actual paper where they give lots of details on how the algorithm works and all that fun stuff. And there's also videos. Um, this video is from the creators. So there's a YouTube video. It's just a 13 minute video, so I'd recommend watching that. And then also on Siraj's channel, he did a video on this. So his is another walkthrough talking about how YOLO works, a lot of the stuff that's mentioned in the paper, and then a quick demonstration at the end. So again, I'm not going to go into the details because these three resources should cover all that. But what I am going to do is walk you through how to install it, um, how to process videos, and then in later videos, we're going to talk about how to implement this in our Python code. So let's proceed. So let's begin by talking about what the requirements are to run YOLO. So we're going to need Python 3.5 or 3.6. And like always, I highly recommend you use Anaconda because it comes with all the packages that we're going to need included in Anaconda. So if you need help installing Anaconda, I've got a tutorial on it. There's a link here in the GitHub slides. Just follow along, it's a pretty quick install. Then we're gonna need TensorFlow. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU that's capable of running TensorFlow GPU, um, I'd recommend installing that. I have a video on that one as well. So again, you can follow this link to the video tutorial on that and you should be good, it's not too bad. If you don't have a GPU that supports TensorFlow, then you can just install TensorFlow CPU and that's just gonna be pip install TensorFlow. Cool, so once all that's done, the next thing you're gonna need is OpenCV. And OpenCV is not included in Anaconda, so we're gonna need to install it separately. But the best way, or the way that I recommend, is coming to this website. It's called the Unofficial Windows Binary for Python Extension Package. So just search um, OpenCV, and then what you'll do is find so just find the package that works for your system. So you should have either Python 3.5, 64-bit, or 3.6. So it's probably gonna be either this one or this one. So just click download, then it'll go to your downloads folder, then just open up a CMD window in your downloads folder, type pip install and then the package name, and it'll go ahead and install it. So those are the requirements. So Python, TensorFlow, and OpenCV. Next, we're ready to download the Darkflow repo. So YOLO was originally written in this framework called Darknet. So it's a deep learning framework that's completely written in C. It uses CUDA, so it's great and it's super fast, but C is not very user friendly. But luckily, someone has created a TensorFlow version of it that we can use. So that one's called Darkflow. So the first thing we're going to do is download the GitHub repo. So Follow this link in the slides. It'll bring you to here. 
So this is the repo. So there's a lot of good information here in the readme. They talk about, basically it reiterates a lot of the stuff I'm gonna do in this video. So I'll be walking you through all these instructions. So first thing to do is just download the zip file. So we'll just save it and it'll download to our downloads folder. Then what I'm gonna do is I've created a directory in my just right on my desktop so what I'm gonna do is just open up the zip file and just move this um, move the file here so now I've got this dark flow master in here so now the next thing we're gonna do is if we come to the slides the next step is to actually build the library so what we're gonna use is the setup file that's provided and we're just gonna call Python setup.py build underscore ext dash dash in place so the way we do that let's come back to our folder which was this one here so I'm in the dark flow master folder and I'm just gonna open up a CMD window and then the command is just gonna be this one here Python setup dot pi build underscore ext ext dash dash in place so now when we run this you're gonna see a build folder pop up that this one right here so now that this thing's all done everything is built and now we're ready to proceed and just a quick note in the readme file of the repo there's a few different options for building the number one option is this is running the setup file, but you can also do this pip install dash e and then a period. So it's up to you. I've tested it with this one and it works. Um, I've also tested it with this one and it works as well. So it's up to you. I'd probably just go with this option. So once we've built the files, the next thing to do is we need to download the weights for the model. So in the repo, it doesn't actually come with the trained weights. So what we need to do is follow this link and download them. So it just brings you to this YOLO website and they've got the weights for a number of different models, but the YOLO V2 model is the one we want. So it's this YOLO V2 608 by 608. So just click the weights object and we'll go ahead and let that download. And the next thing we need to do is in our dark flow master folder we need to create a new folder called bin and then what we're going to do is we're going to take those downloaded weights and put them in there so cool so you can see the weights are right here so i'm just going to drag them into my folder here so now that that's done we've done the installation we're all set so now we're ready to render some video and add the bounding boxes and the labels. So now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I've already recorded a bit of video from a video game that I was playing. It's this racing game. So if I go to my folder here, I have this uh, video file.mp4 and it's just this uh, racing game footage. So you can see here, there's no bounding boxes. It's just raw footage. So what we're gonna do is process this. Cool, so I'm just gonna move this folder into, the, or I'm gonna move this video file into the dark master folder. So you can see we've got it right here. Now what we're gonna do is render this. So it has the, we're gonna use YOLO to add those bounding boxes and the labels. So what I'm gonna do is open up a new CMD window and I'm gonna go back to my slides so we can see the command. So the way it works is we're gonna call Python, then this thing called flow. So if I go back to our directory, oops, our directory here, there's this, this file called flow. And in the GitHub repo, it says you can just call flow and then all these commands. But I think because the file extension for flow is something not recognized on Windows, it has trouble. So we have to use Python then flow. So just a subtle detail. So what I'm gonna do is just bring this down here. So the way, what we're gonna type is Python, then flow, 
And then we need to specify the model. So we're gonna do dash dash model. And then we're basically saying where the model is. So if I go back to our directory, we have this CFG folder, and then we're just gonna specify the model. So the one I'm gonna use is this yolo.cfg. So that's all I'm gonna specify here. It's gonna be CFG slash yolo.cfg. Next thing we need to do is load our weights. So the way we do that is dash dash load. And again, it's we're just gonna specify that bin folder that we created with our weights. So the file is called yolo.weights. Next thing we're gonna do is dash dash demo. And what demo does is we, we provided the path to a video file that it's gonna process. So in this case, I named my video file just video file dot mp4 if yours is named something else then you just give it the actual file name but that's what mine is and since i'm using tensorflow with the gpu version i'm going to do dash dash gpu 1.0 if you don't have tensorflow gpu then just don't put that dash dash gpu 1.0 just leave that off and then finally what i want to do is save this to a new file so i'm just going to do dash dash save video and that's it so when we run this command it should start rendering a new video for us so i'm going to hit enter bring this up so you can see the output so it should start by loading the model and you should see a little table with all the layers specified and then it should be followed by all the gpu tensorflow statements so let's see if we get all that so there's the model with all the layers. There's the GPU statement. Then it should say it's finished. Yeah, so finished and it failed. Okay, so one moment, we need to try this again. Okay, let's try again. It seems to have some problems when I'm doing my screen recording. So let's just run it again, see what happens. Yep, yeah, okay, it seems to have problems when I'm running the GPU version and also recording. So what I'm gonna do is just leave off this GPU 1.0. So this is just gonna run on the CPU. The frame rate that it's gonna render at is gonna be slower than if I was running it with the GPU. It should only be like one frame per second that it's running at, but at least it will run. So you can see here, it's gonna say it's finished and it should report the frame rate that it's processing it. So we're only getting like one frame per second using the CPU, but we are processing it. So I'll let it run just for a little bit so you can see the output from it. This will probably take a while to run through the whole video because it's about three or four minutes, but at least we'll see a few frames with it. So we'll let it go for a little bit and I'll skip forward and so we can see the results. Cool, so I'm just gonna end this and we'll pull up the directory and you can see here it saves this video.avi file so i'll just go ahead and pull this up and yeah you can see it's not very long because i only ran it for a few seconds but we are processing a short amount of it so we're getting the car it's saying this is also a train which is wrong but it spots the stop sign and i've already um, fully processed this before and um yeah, it does a pretty good job. It's not 100% accurate. Um, I can show you some of it again, just for just for fun. So, so this is the full video. Um, let's skip ahead. So yeah, you can see we get people. Um, this part's kind of funny. These signs up ahead, it thinks they're knives. Actually not there, but so it thinks that's a train. Sometimes it thinks this is a suitcase. That's a truck or a train, which it gets wrong. Um, it also thinks that there's sheep and goats and stuff like that, cows, stuff like that here. So it thinks these things are knives, which is kind of funny. Knives and surfboards, which I can understand. But anyways, this is it in action. You can see it runs like once it's well it's already rendered everything so it's not too bad but it was running at about 15 frames per second 
when I was rendering it with my GPU and I've got a GTX 1070. So that seems to be reasonable. This is 1080p 60 frame per second video. So with like 780p at 30 frames per second, it'd be more like 45 frames per second, which would be a lot, a lot more tolerable. So here you can see it's going to think these are surfboards. Kind of funny. So anyways, that's how you download, install, and render video using YOLO 9000. In the next video, what we're going to do is move into Python and import this model or import all this stuff so then we can process images that we feed it, draw bounding boxes on it and everything. So stay tuned for the next one. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. And if you really liked it, then definitely hit the subscribe button so you can see more of these videos. So thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.